Are you a tax professional? And do you have those loved, adored elders who have been with you for months, years, and you want to continue to serve them? You want to make sure that they are taken care of, that they are receiving the services that they have come to know you for. And that is challenging as you're transitioning into this new automation era that you're headed into. We haven't had the chance to meet yet. I'm Jamie Gruel, and after helping over 500 tax and accounting practices implement automation with TaxDome, I can confidently say that automation is the only way to increase your profit and time freedom in your practice. Well, a lot of our clients and the people that come to work with us for setting up their TaxDome and the automated workflows that they are producing that is one of their biggest questions is how do I handle my 100% paper? The ones that drop off the documents at the beginning of the season, I send them the paper packet prior to their drop off. I then, you know, take the documents, we process the return and then they come back and they pick them up. Whether you do it through a scheduled appointment or they just come, they review the documents, they sign on site and off they go. Well, this is a challenge for a lot of practices. And there's this marrying of the two dichotomies there of analog and virtual. And the thing is, is in order to have the most efficiency in your practice, you need to get these clients into your tax dome system. And so today in this training, I want to walk you through the three steps to how you can modify and utilize the tax dome automations and leverage them to allow you to actually service these clients right alongside your virtual clients. And so I'm going to jump in and I'm going to share my screen here. The first thing you need to do is you need to prepare a pipeline plan. So if you have an existing pipeline, you're going to need to create a plan for how you're going to implement these clients into your existing process. Now, TaxDome luckily has some amazing automations, including their conditional logic and the ability to treat clients differently based on that conditional logic. And so what we're able to do is if we can modify our pipelines, create all the necessary templates, and then put them into our pipeline, leveraging the conditional logic, then we can treat those paper clients in the very same pipeline as our virtual clients. And so I want to show this to you real quickly in an example so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go into my workflow section. I'm gonna go into pipelines. I'm just gonna open up probably something that may be similar to what you have, um, but this is just a basic pipeline with no formal review. So what this means is that right now our clients are not receiving a scheduled appointment. They're not, there's no fancy um, review or formal process that we're doing for reviewing the tax return at the end of the process. And so what's happening is, is this is where we're servicing all of our virtual clients right now. So you maybe, if you've been using TaxDome for a while, have developed a whole nother pipeline where you are managing your clients outside of this main pipeline. But what we can do, just like we can treat our individual and our business clients differently through this same pipeline, we can also treat our paper clients differently through this same pipeline. And so what you would do, what you would do is you need to create that plan. So I want you to assess your pipeline and identify the steps that you have built in here. And at each of your stages, consider what is the step that my paper clients would go through in this instance. And so you would look at your first stage, for example. Well, if we're sending a kickoff email and a chat to the clients to help them get their tax season started, that is not going to work for our paper clients. However, we are doing something similar in that we're sending a packet to our paper clients. So you could create a task to allow you to make sure that those paper clients have been produced, the packets have been produced, and those have been put into your pipeline and that th nothing gets missed. This allows you to make sure no clients fall into a crack. And so you would go through each of the steps of your process in, built into your pipeline, and you would look at that and you would say, okay, in this stage, I am you know, doing X. Do my paper clients need to do this? The answer is for some of these steps, a hard no. <laughs> For example, you don't want your paper clients receiving an engagement letter to sign virtually. They do not have an email address in your tax dome system. So that is going to be treated differently again. And so you need to think about what are the tasks or the actions that need to happen in my process that would be paper only. Now, there may be some cases where you're going to need and want to build some additional stages holding cues, if you might, for these paper clients. 
So that is what you're going to do as step one. Now, step two is that you're going to need to set up your conditional logic. Now, once you have built out all of the templates, so you've made your plan, you've built out the templates associated with that. There oftentimes are, it is going to likely be a lot of internal tasks because they're internal processes. There's no client facing processes. The next thing we need to do is we need to consider the conditional logic function of how Taxdome works. Now in Taxdome, there are conditional logics at a couple of different levels. If you're new to the automation world, what a conditional logic does is it is a filter essentially that says, does my criteria or does this client meet my criteria to trigger this automation or take this action? And so we can create very different scenarios and experiences for client based on the tags, the account level tags that are on my client account. And so for example, this can, um, Andy and Kim Bernard, if I click on them, you can see here, they have a 1040 tag and a virtual tag. Now this 1040 tag is going to represent that they're an individual and they're going to receive all of the actions throughout my pipeline that are individual based. Now on the alternative of that, oh, there's one. Okay. Darwin travel. So Darwin travel, for example, is a C corp and they are a business. So they're going to have a different experience and receive all of my business entity automations based on the tags that have been associated with their account business and C corp. And so that allows me to treat them differently for my clients. Say this Jim and Sally, um, elder. These are paper clients. And so currently, if I was to put them through this process, they're going to trigger and um, based on the 1040 tag because I've not modified my pipeline yet. So what's going to happen is, is we need to take and uh, leverage the conditional logic in Taxdome. So I've kind of explained how the, the tagging works. What we do when it comes to the automations is we're looking at the individual automations. So if I click on this lightning bolt, it shows you all of the automations I have set up in this specific stage of my pipeline. What that means is when a job enters this stage, a job is Kim and Andy Bernard. Um, when a job enters the stage for Kim and Andy, it's going to look to their account, to their tags, and it's going to say at each of these automations, do they have a business tag? Yes or no. If it's a no, it skips this automation and goes to the next one. Do they have a 1040 tag? Yes, they do. It's going to trigger this automation. Email, do they have a 1040 tag? Yes, they do. It's going to trigger this email. And the final one is, is do they have a business tag? No, they don't. It's going to not trigger this automation. And so what that does is it allows us to make sure that Kim and Andy only receive the individual automations, yet I can do all of my stuff and manage all of my clients in this one pipeline. It's a beautiful thing, though it does take some automation brains and understanding of how this all works. And so what we have is the, the, the automations. Now that is at the automation level. We can also have conditional logic at the stage level. And so the stage level is going to be where we can tell the system only allow a job into this stage if it has the appropriate stage condition. In this case, this is an example of it's going to require a docs needed tag. So we can say, set our stage condition to docs needed and only jobs will, the only jobs that will go into this stage are ones that on the account, they have a docs needed tag. So we can actually man, not manipulate, but set up the system to skip these stages if that tag is not present. Now docs needed is just an example of that, but when we're looking at the paper versus virtual, that is definitely somewhere that we can leverage stage level conditions so that our stages where we have a lot of tasks or all the tasks, excuse me, are associated with virtual, we can make it so that none of our jobs fall into the stage because or for paper, because they do not apply. None of these tasks apply to it. So we can actually have it be so that the paper ones just bounce right over the top of the stages that don't apply to them. So this is where strategy becomes really powerful. It allows us to leverage and create efficient workflows that will really revolutionize the way you're working. Not only that, but it revolutionizes the client experience you're providing. Now, when it comes to paper clients, you know, we talked about paper. When we're looking at these conditional logic based items, you have to consider that I need to be able to segment my clients. Now, if I was to go through and apply just all of my paper clients, I could 
have those tasks be triggered by paper. But I don't want the other items, the, the things that are virtual based to trigger for that client as well. So what we recommend is that you have a paper tag and then for all your other clients, you have a virtual tag. That allows you to be able to segment and treat them in two different ways, whether they're paper or they're virtual. And so that is another level of conditional logic and the considerations that you have for creating your system. The next thing I want to talk about is then you need to update your account tags. Now we, I talked a little bit about this and needing to update them, but one of the things that you're going to want to do is make sure that all of your account tags are appropriately tagged to allow your conditional logic functions to work within Taxstone. And so I'm going to show you in a moment, an example of what this all looks like at the end. So you can see um, what we're headed towards, but this is an important step that you need to make happen. And a great solution for how to make sure you have the appropriate things is to look at that pipeline. What this will look like ultimately is you're going to have your stages and you're going to have all of your automations set up within the system. Now you can see here, I have my four um, virtual ones and they're tagged business and virtual. Here we go. And then my final one is paper. So what I'm doing is, is I'm triggering these first four based on whether they're an individual or a business and only if they have the virtual tag on that account. Now, the last one is the paper. So what you can do to make sure that you have all your automations set up properly to allow a job to come in here and trigger the proper automations is review your account, account tags using the filtering function. Now, TaxDome has recently released some amazing updates to the filtering functions within the account, and that allows you to be able to use things such as is or is not tagged with this specific tag. And so I can go through my accounts and I can quickly assess whether an account has the appropriate tags or not. So I can go in, for example, and do tags is paper. And I can see all the tags that do have paper. Or I can change this to is not. And this allows me to see all the accounts that do not have paper. And I can quickly apply tags to that by clicking this button at the top. It's going to select all of the available accounts and then I can manage my tags and change them in bulk so I could quickly apply that virtual tag. So there are many steps to getting to this point, but what this is going to result in is you're going to have a workflow that allows you to manage your paper clients throughout your process, ensuring that they're going to be onboarded properly, have making sure that nobody falls into a crack, that you're receiving the documents from the client as appropriate. You're going to ensure that they end up in the ready to review so that you can review the documents in your normal process. And the standardization is going to ensure that you are more efficient in the process that you're creating. You can see here, we even have a stage down here for paper pickup. So if you're somebody and you're like, oh my gosh, I need this. I want everything in one place because this is how we are able to revolutionize creating more profit and more time freedom for you because automation is the only way you're going to be able to do that without hiring and hiring is not going to increase your profit sad to say <laughs> you're usually just slapping a band-aid on there so if you're a small practice you're a solo practitioner or maybe you have one or two seasonal or part-time and staff that you are very nimble and ready to shift it is not too late to automate today is january 10th this is the opportunity for you to still step in and automate so that the next nine and a half months of your year are peaceful and organized and that you're able to better communicate with your clients and we can do that through a special that we are offering this month what we're doing is we have recently released our tax dome actually recently released the tax dome marketplace this is a section of the tax dome system where you can actually go and purchase templates that will transform the way you're working now we have our w4tp signature pipeline tax preparation template pipeline there. This is the pipeline that we have helped over 700 practices implement into their practice over the last three years. Many of them getting huge gains in their profit and massive gains in their time freedom and finding the peace and the joy back in their businesses again. Now this pipeline, if you purchase this over the next 10 days, we are going to be inviting you into a boot camp. We're calling it our fast track template boot camp. We have run fast track boot camps in the last three years, and they're always a favorite of everyone that was, I won't call you a procrastinator, but kind of last, last minute adopter of automation because you're like, 
I can't do this. This is your answer to being able to make sure that you can get this set up and send out your automated engagement letters, but you can make sure that the rest of the season is going to be automated. That is going to bring you a lot of peace. It's going to bring you a whole lot of organization. It's gonna bring your clients a lot of happiness because they're gonna have a really excellent client experience. Included in this template are all the things that you need in order to have the pipeline that I just explained to you. It's going to serve your business clients, it's going to serve your individual clients, and it's going to, it's already set up to serve your paper clients. So it includes all the tasks, all the templates, everything that you need. Now you can go through and customize those and modify them to make them sound like you, but the meat is there. The process, the system, the strategy is there. This is your all-in-one solution to your tax season. So if this is something that you want to take action on, then I encourage you to go and purchase this template, get it into your tax dome system. And then once you're in here, if you look for the task template that has the little red sign on it, that is going to have an exclusive invitation for you to join our included course that comes with this template. Now in this course, we walk you through how to use it, how to test, but we're gonna actually be performing all of those actions live together the week of January 22nd. It's gonna be a Monday, a Wednesday, and a Friday. It's gonna be in the afternoon, um, 2 p.m. Eastern time, and we're going to actually step you through all of the things you need to do to make this system work for you this tax season. And you're gonna be able to ask me questions live. We're gonna be able to accommodate any of the unique nuances that you maybe have or questions you have. And we're gonna make sure that at the end of the week, you are ready to click go and bulk load all of your jobs into your tax prep pipeline and let her rip. <laughs> you will actually find that your clients are going to automate automatically onboard themselves into your tax season. And then you're gonna be receiving these beautiful reminder or notifications that their documents are ready for review. Now, this is a proven process, guys. This is not just some idea of how this could work. This is something that has been implemented into many practices, and we have the know-how to help you customize and tweak it to make it work for you. So if you have questions or you want more details, feel free to grab the document below. I put together a whole sales page on the bootcamp and I will drop that below this video as soon as I'm done here. And you can go and check out the details and then sign up, get it. And we'll be glad to help you get ready for tax season this year. All right, we'll see you again soon. Thank you.